everyone, it's Elaine, and today I want to show you something that I have done with a hanging file folder. Now this file folder is one that was legal size, so the 8.5 by 14 papers had gone down into it. The other thing that's different about this file folder from what we normally see is that mine was blue. <laughs> a lot of times we see that um, khaki kind of army green color. Um, so let's let's get started and let me tell you what I've done. First of all, I did a coding of old book pages. We're always looking for ways to use those old book pages that we have. And uh, Lord knows I have plenty of them. And then I covered it with some napkins. Now, these napkins, I'll have to say too, were just scraps that I had. Yep, I even keep my scraps of napkins. I keep them in this little container and because, uh, you know, napkins are actually kind of fragile, especially when they've been unlayered. So that was the premise of my outside. Now, for the inside, I pretty much did the same thing, except for the inside, I had folded over the edges in order to make some pockets and then I book page those and I you know decoupaged with more napkin but now I gotta tell you when I did that and I folded it over I guess it's because of the depth of the folder it shifted you could see some of this back one um, kind of sliding out some so I said to myself, you know, I need to fix that. I don't like the way it looks. However, I also knew that I am not the best trimmer at cutting things straight, okay? So I said, what am I going to do? So I decided I was going to sew. Now, here comes the trick. Because... I knew I wanted to sew the actual folder closed, but I wanted to keep an area open for pockets. So I said, if I pull this down where I can trim it, I mean, excuse me, sew it all, then I'm going to mess this up because I'm not going to be able to sew that together. It's going to go through there. So I had to open it all up flat. Then I just sewed this much and nothing else. And what that allowed to happen was for me to hold that in place and to sew, and now it's all nice and even, as you can see. And I did that on both parts, both the front and the back. So then when I closed it up, then I went around and I stitched. And when I stitched, I went all the way around, front and back, and then I came back. Let's see if we can see it. I came back and, and went around the middle of the notebook of the journal um, I went around it so that then when I sewed my signatures in and they literally are stitched I went straight down the middle and actually on that one I'm pretty impressed I, I did pretty straight I, I'm impressed so let's do a little flip through it, you know it doesn't have a whole lot I did take a big paper punch and try to punch out half of an oval I was not very successful that punch did not want to penetrate folder, book paper, and napkin. It just didn't want to do it. So it did pretty good here, and then on the bottom part, I kind of had to use my scissors. And, um, I, and, and I, I waited on purpose because I wanted to kind of center that between here and, and the edge of the book. And I think I was okay at doing that part, but I can see where my scissor work wasn't the best. But when you put something down in there, I mean, it is the whole entire pocket. Now, you know, when you put something down in there, it, it's going to be okay. So, um, anyway, I don't have a whole bunch in here. Um, I did try to use a variety of papers. And I actually pulled out my old washi tape. Um, and, of course, some dye cuts and stuff that I have that I've been trying to use up. Um, that's a coffee filter, and it looks like I glued it to the other paper. Don't you just love this? I guess I closed it too soon upon gluing. So, yep, it's a die cut. Maybe I won't have any more mishaps like that. <laughs> Some more washi tape. 
and this is mainly I did this um, thought in mind for taking notes or um, like gluing people's business cards to the inside or things like that receipts and stuff because this size I really like for um, just sticking in your purse or sticking it in your tote bag and as you saw it all ties up nice and neat this is a lesson learned glue very easily goes through coffee filters I hate that I'm doing this on camera but it is what it is so you know that it was just freshly made <laughs> But anyway, so that's it, and then I just put some things in there just to show you that it was a, a pocket, and then this is a whole pocket you can really lose some stuff in, and let's tie it up. But I have one more thing I want to show you before everybody runs away and signs off. It's going to be just a short little video anyway, but I like my ribbon. My ribbon was also scrap. I can't even tell you where I, it came from, but this is not what I was going to say, something else, but... When you go to do ribbon and stuff like this, um, and you put down your fabric tack, rub it in a little bit. All right, it, that's just a little tip because if you don't rub it in, you're going to see places where the glue has globbed and it will penetrate this fabric and leave you a mark. So always try to smooth out your fabric tack, three in one beacon glue, whatever you use, and um, and, and spread it out so there is no big globs. The other thing, and I don't know if you caught it or not, and uh, I guess we can go back through real quick, and I guess I'll have to find them myself. I did it so fast. Da -da 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 Elaine, right there. In all of my journals, there's three stamps that I use. One is one of a kind. I always um, stamp one of a kind in my journals because they are just that. They are one of a kind. And the other thing that I always stamp is Larkin Lane Creations because, you know, that's kind of the name that I use out and about. And um, it, that's, it was made at Larkin Lane Creations. And the other thing, I think I put it toward the back. Anybody that knows me, knows that I have a long-haired chihuahua named Sissy, and she just is a joy to me. I mean, she has my entire heart. She is the sweetest thing. So if you look down in the corner of my YouTube video, you'll see this logo, and that's my subscribe button. However, she, um, I, I, I saw this stamp one day, and I said, um, I, I, have to, I have to get that, that Sissy. That'll be my logo. So, these are the three stamps that I do stamp in every journal. And this one, you can actually see them. In some cases, I'll like stamp Sissy on a little button and stick it down in a pocket or something. These two will be physically stamped in the book. Um, but I just, I just wanted to show everyone that I did that. I think it's a good way kind of to label your work that's not in an intrusive manner. And, um, you know, and people can look at it years later and say, oh, I know the woman that did that. I know the woman that did that. She worked hard all of her life. She tried to play fair. She tried to be nice to people. And she made some journals. So anyhow, that's me. And please remember that I do a video and I put one up every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I do have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. You can even find me on Pinterest. And I do have a small shop on Etsy. And you never know what you might find there. So I do appreciate you very much. And I will catch you going down the road. Bye.